Are you worried about the upcoming recession in 2023? The thought of losing your job, your savings, and financial stability can be overwhelming. But what if I told you that you could actually use this recession to your advantage and come out even richer than before? That's right. We're here to share some insider tips from the world's most successful investors, including the legendary Warren Buffett. We'll show you how they've managed to thrive during past economic downturns and we'll reveal three fundamental rules for achieving financial independence. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Rule number one. The first investing rule we'll cover is particularly relevant in times of high inflation and economic weakness. It's all about looking for companies with a durable competitive advantage. Let's start by taking an example. Consider a small city in England without a Thai restaurant. Someone decides to open a Thai restaurant and it becomes popular. Being the only player in town, they can charge premium prices compared to other cities based on their unique selling point. But soon enough, more entrepreneurs open up their own Thai restaurants and the economics of the Thai restaurants in that small city is now no different from other parts of England. Building a better business generates high returns and profitability, but success also attracts competitors who try to chip away at the advantage the business has. That's why it's important to look for intrinsic characteristics of a business that set it apart from its competitors. This is what we call the moat. A moat is not about being the first mover, but about having a unique characteristic that another company cannot replicate, no matter how hard they try. You might be wondering what kind of moat are durable and are hard to replicate in a world where you can replicate almost anything. Well, one type of moat that is impossible to replicate is the brand moat. A great example of this is Coca-Cola. When the pharmacist started the Coca-Cola company, he had no idea what he was onto. There's nothing particularly magical about Coke and it's easy to clone. However, most people still prefer Coke over other brands. That's because Coke's moat is its brand, which is objectively proven to be less popular than Pepsi without the label. But with the label on, Coke is the number one drink in the world. So, when looking for companies to invest in, focus on those with a strong brand moat. These are the most powerful moats and are more likely to withstand competition over the long term. Stay tuned for our next rule on how to survive the 2023 recession. Rule number two. Let's now focus on another key element that is described as one of the arrows in a quiver of a value investor, patience. Most often, investors don't have any information edge, meaning they may not have any unique insights that other investors don't already have. However, one edge they can have is an analytics edge, where they can analyze data and come to different conclusions than others. But even this is difficult because many smart people are looking at many companies. The strongest edge they can have is a time horizon and patience. Stay tuned to learn how Jeff Bezos has utilized this rule to out-earn all his competitors. Jeff Bezos has said that while his competitors focus on the next one, two, or three years, Amazon looks further out at five, seven, or even ten years. By investing with a long time horizon, they can gain an edge, and they're willing to make investments where the payoff won't come for several years. This approach applies to companies themselves, but also to us as investors. Having a long-term outlook is hands down the biggest advantage a value investor can have. Since they manage their own money, they don't have to worry about making profits on their investments quickly. The active funds on Wall Street often trap themselves into thinking incredibly short term, literally quarter to quarter. Can you imagine such a thing? Long-term value investing is a game of patience. Investors buy great companies at favorable times and then all they have to do is wait. It's a game of relative inaction, waiting until the crisis blows over and the recovery kicks in. This might take one year, three years, or even five years, but the point is they can wait. When investors are patient and focus on holding these businesses for the long term, that's when they can profit. This is the one reason why the index always wins. The index is too dumb to know that it owns Microsoft, Alphabet, or any other company, and it never sells these positions. 
we have an example that will make this point even clearer. Keep watching. We can look at the S&P 500, for example, which is made up of 500 great businesses. Every year, they may take out one or two businesses and replace them with new ones, but usually the ones that they take out are not the ones that are doing well. The S&P 500 would hold companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, or Alphabet for 20 or 30 years, and that type of holding period on these great businesses can be a great edge. Isn't it crazy? that the index, the S&P 500, beats over 90% of active fund managers over the long run? This is a pretty good example of just how much a short-term mindset can impair you as an investor. So we stay around businesses that have proven moats and we always keep a long-term outlook. The final rule we have for you today is something every investor knows, but very few can stick to it. Stay tuned to find out what it is. Rule number three. Now that we've covered finding companies with durable competitive advantages and being patient with your investment, it's time to focus on the importance of staying the course and not panicking during a recession. It's easy to fall into the trap of selling your investments when the market dips, but doing so can be a costly mistake. Instead, it's important to have a long-term perspective and hold on to your investments, even if they may not be performing as well as you'd like in the short term. But how can you watch a market dip and manage not to panic? One way to do this is by focusing on businesses with proven models and holding onto them for the long term. This can help mitigate the long term risks even if you made a mistake in your initial valuation. Additionally, identifying great compounders can pay off in the long run even if they may be expensive to buy initially. Once you've found a winner, resist the urge to panic and sell too soon. Hold on to your winners and resist the temptation to sell them before they have a chance to compound. We have a great example that will drive this point home. Continue watching to learn more. Let's take the example of Apple Incorporated. In 2008, during the Great Recession, Apple's stock price dropped to $85.35. Imagine if you had panicked and sold your shares at that time, thinking that the company's future was uncertain and that the economy was in turmoil. But if you had held on to your shares and reinvested your dividends, you would have seen your investment grow significantly over time. In 2023, Apple's stock price reached $173.50, that's more than 200% of its 2008 value, despite the economic challenges and uncertainties that have arisen since then. By not panicking and selling during the recession, you would have benefited from Apple's ability to compound your investment over time. By keeping these three lessons in mind, finding companies with intrinsic characteristics that set them apart, holding on to them for the long term, and resisting the temptation to panic and sell too soon, you can increase your chances of surviving and thriving during the current economic crisis. Speaking of changes in the economy, there is a lot of speculation about how the recent surge of AI will affect the economy. Click the video on screen now to learn what an AI economy will look like and what you need to do to take advantage of the rise of artificial intelligence.